Welcome to the third course of this specialization on TensorFlow Data Services. Data powers all of our machine learning models, and TensorFlow Data Services makes managing this data much easier. Yeah, and as a developer, one of the things that I've discovered when I'm building models is that I often have to write far more lines of code to get my data and to slice my data and to manage my data to be able to feed it for training than I write code for the actual training itself. And so one of the things and part of the vision behind TFDS is to make that as easy as possible for developers. And it does this really in two ways. The first is to have a suite of built-in data sets from the simple MNIST all the way up to things like diabetic retinopathy. And they're accessible with like a single line of code. And then the second part of it is that for data that's not in that library of data sets to give you the tools to be able to slice and dice the data, manage the data, and get that into records easy for training. So rather than writing tons of lines of code to manage comma-separated spreadsheets yeah. versus space-separated versus binary file formats versus spend a lot of time writing regular expressions to, <laughs> to, to mess with the data formats, yeah. Yeah. Um, getting everything into a standardized data format makes it much easier to manage the data uh, and then also to share the data with others. Exactly, exactly. And, and even just beyond that, some of the things that you need for training a model, like bucketizing data or one-hot encoding, to be able to have all of that as part of the same library, I find is really neat. So in these four weeks, you learn first about how to quickly load and use existing data sets. Then you learn how to import data sets from outside into the TF record format, which you learned about in just a little bit. And you learn about how to build efficient data pipelines uh, and optimizations. And finally, in the last week, you learn how to publish and maybe share your own data sets with others using this framework. So let's dive into TensorFlow Data Services in the next video.